bro. I'm digging his hair. Dude, these dudes dress so fresh, I swear to God. So many people in these groups. Holy crap, why are there so many of them? They're all such great dancers. Music videos are lit. Like, there's a lot going on in this. This looks like so much fun. Like, I'm so jealous. Everything's so colorful and like pretty. This is also really catchy. Whoa. How many of them are there? Is there 17 people? It's a nice song. It's just not something I listen to. I like the that they're all into it. I like this one the best so far. Uh, they were fun. They were really fun. Like, they were like the turn-up squad. So 17 is made up of 13 members. Jeez. That are multinational with Chinese, Korean, and Korean-American, which also is a trait of some K-pop groups. Oh, I actually uh, really like that. They are one group, but have focused subunits within the band. One focusing on vocals, one on performance, and one on hip-hop, allowing them to perform as a unit without overlapping, but still coming together as one. That's actually really sick. Cool, it's like a mega group. People say their live shows are incredible. What do you think about that? concept. I think that's kind of cool. That's strategic and that's really smart. There's no way for them to like slip through and fall through or anything because it's like it's all calculated. Honing in on their on their talents is is genius. I never even thought of doing that and now I get what they have 13 13 members. With like multi-diversity and like multi-countries and like even different focuses on music, you can come up with so much more stuff. So the next music video is from the band Red Velvet. Red Velvet. They're gonna be sweet like cake. I love them because they were cute when they came out and then they grew to be more mature and they matured in their music and it, it built up and that's one of the really big girl groups that I love. <laughs> So much going on, there's so much fruit. This is different. This almost looks like a commercial. Their hairstyles are so cute. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this music video is weird. Are they judging fruit? I'm so confused. God, I'm so frustrated at myself. I'm like super cheesy, but I'm like bopping in my chair. I like that one. That one is my favorite. This is a song where it's like you want to go skipping in a field. Like all of this. I just want to skip in a field of flowers. They're good songs, so it's just not something that I would like to listen to. I'm not really into girl groups either, so I think that's kind of that's kind of it too. Red Velvet's band name is actually a representation of their sound as a whole that is somewhat unique from what we could research, but people at home should let us know if there are any other similar groups. The Red represents the catchy pop in their music, while the Velvet is representative of their slower R&B based sounds. Okay. Yeah, I did notice that one didn't have like the bass drop like the other ones had. And fandom names are a thing across the world and also in K-pop, so if you are in Red Velvet's fandom, you are part of the Reveloves. Oh, okay. Fandoms is a massive part of K-pop in a way unparalleled possibly with anything in music today. We know this from the endless requests to cover K-pop to endless people who wish we would leave their fandom alone. Kind of a double-edged sword. What is your opinion on the K-pop fandom at large? The K-pop fandom is a wonderful place. It's full of so much diversity and uh, so much like togetherness. I've never seen fandoms this dedicated to you know the artists that they listen to, and I think that's one of the things that um, contributes to the you know wide success of K-pop artists.